Come on, scale guys, Nexus here. Welcome back to Destiny 2. And in today's video, we have another raid weapon review to do. It is, well, it's a raid weapon. It's also going to be a Black Army weapon as well. As we know, the Black Army Scourge of the Past raid has a lot of Black Army weapons. And the one we're doing today is going to be Tempered Dynamo. This is the fusion rifle from the raid. As I said, the only way to get it is from doing Scourge of the Past. But there is random rolls in this. Now, there is a curated roll for it, which will have Rampage and Backup Plans, which is just such a good combo. Rampage and Fusions are really good. But the problem is I don't have it. I have a randomly rolled one. So without further ado, let me go in and show you the roll I have. Tempered Dynamo, reinforce the bonds of legacy. So as you can see, this is the Tempered Dynamo itself. It is a Black Army weapon with the whole slickness of the Black Army shader. It always looks so dope, these Black Army weapons and shaders. But for the intrinsic, we're gonna have precision frame. This weapon's recoil pattern is more predictably vertical. Then for the sight, we're gonna have Mirian RDS, lightweight sight, short zoom, increases handling speed, increases range. Then we're gonna have Mirian RDL, superior scope, medium zoom, highlights enemy targets, increases range. Then for the battery, we're gonna have ionized battery, large heavy battery, great increase magazine size, greatly decreases reload speed so basically send a mag and then for the other battery we're gonna have liquid coils slow building charge for higher damage increases impact time slower charge time and then for the trait we're gonna have snapshot sights faster time to aim down sights and last but not least we're gonna have the trait grave robber melee kills reload a portion of this weapons magazine Grants ammo for primary ammo weapons, reloads for reserves for special and heavy ammo weapons. Now, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I do not have the greatest roll. I mean, if you break, I think the liquid coil is probably the best thing about this. I mean, these two perks. Ray Robber not gonna come too handy. If it gave me ammo, like generated ammo for me, that would be great, but not gonna be the best. But the thing is, we don't have the best roll. We have kind of average, actually probably below average roll. But the thing is, if I can do well with this average roll, that means that the curated roll is gonna be really good for PvP or PvE, whatever it does well in. So so in saying that, let's go into PvP and test the weapon out. Alrighty, we're gonna be on Altar of Flame. And what's the game mode gonna be? It's gonna be Clash. Gosh. Okay, oh, we are going in with a Void Knock again because honestly, it is pretty OP. It's a uh, pretty strong subclass right now. So we're gonna be going in. But this is gonna be the Tempered Dynamo. Of course, it is PvP. So we started off with two bullets. But this is a sight in it as well. I love this sight. This is probably my favorite sight in D2 at the moment. It's so beautiful. It looks like the Eye of Sauron or something. It's amazing. And I'm gonna stick with it. Now, is someone a Viz here? We're gonna have to actually get this charged up and we're gonna have to try to get a kill. Uh, guys, if you all just don't die in the cave, that would be nice. Oh, throw this in. Oh, oh, that is a shoulder charging macro using Titan. Yep, that is what we're gonna be up against. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to start shooting these guys down before they get close. That's the thing about fusion rifles. They're really good against shooting uh, the L shotgunners like this Rainmaker guy. Is he literally... Oh, nice one, Deadly Kitten. I like the name too. Are you really just gonna run around with your stupid macro and just shoulder charge to victory? And can I get a kill? Uh, just even, can I shoot at someone? Can I shoot at someone? Oh, I can't even shoot at someone. Come here. No, go. Come on, this guy shoulder charges. Shoulder charges. He shoulder charges. Oh, God. Shoulder charges. I have had it up to here with you guys. Uh, we hit him. Weakish. But there we go. Finally got a kill. I need to start aiming properly. Oh, what? Come on, come on, the range, oh, okay, the range shot did not work, it did not work, where are you, where are you, son of a god, it, uh, there we go, <laughs> okay, note to self, this thing uh, didn't really go too far, I mean, we did some damage, about half health, we need to kind of constrain the bullets though, so we actually get all the pedals hit, that's the thing, stability, you kind of want your stability and stuff as well, why, I can't even hit this guy, come on, get, yes, finally, we got the rainmaker dude, screw you, buddy, uh, there's another guy here, um, Okay, 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 you know, it's good. Oh, no, I wasted. No, that's a supernova, God. Come on, get this guy though, come on. Uh, no, he's well too far. He is well too far, but thanks for the assist, buddy. Uh, I just suck at this game. I can't hit that far. Where was that special ammo? Okay, I am already feeling that this gun ain't the strongest. Even with the impact and stuff, it seems to be a bit inconsistent. I could be just aiming badly. But okay, okay. Oh, what the? Was someone else shooting at me with... Someone else must have been shooting with me. I mean, I, there's no way I did that damage myself. Can we get this guy now? There we go. Oh, 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 we got him as well. The stupid shoulder charge auto aim. But hey, you know what? I, I'm gonna take it. This is gonna be a struggle. I think uh, I'm already starting to feel that this one is this roll I got, whatever you want to call it. Doesn't seem to be too great in PvP. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna get them weak, which you could use something like a quick draw weapon to uh, finish them off and stuff. But with the way this has like a draw time and stuff, it's not ideal to be doing that. And I'm gonna have to run. Charge it up, charge it up, charge it up, charge, charge, charge. Oh, no, buddy, buddy, come on, come on, weak, 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 weak. 
No, stop making me waste my ammo, dude. Come on. Are we not all a team here? Oh, but there's a one shot. Oh my god, the Inca. Uh, this is why I don't really use fusion rifles too much. Like, sometimes you get this one tap across map, like, in the middle of nowhere. Now, other times you just do nothing. I might as well blow at them and then, they, like, see if anything happens. Like, there's the one tap. Finally, okay. Opinion is starting to change. Opinions are starting to change. This might be slightly better than I already um, originally anticipated. Come on. Get. Okay, I can't. Don't ask me, okay? We're lagging a bit. Okay, we're either lagging or they're lagging, but we got the two kills. Oh my god, okay. Getting used to how to use a gun. Maybe I was just trash at the start, but you know what? Screw it. We don't need to be trash to use this thing. Um, where are you, buddy? There you are. <laughs> don't need to be trash to use something like this because it is OP. Boom. Uh, we're going to take all this ammo. I am not even getting much kills this, am I? Because they all decided to run away on me. <laughs> Come on, we need to get, we need to run. We need to run it. <laughs> okay, we didn't get much kills there, but you know what? Uh, you know, we're not here to review no war. We're here to review this or stupid hammers. Oh, we're Titan Smash. Whatever. I'm so confused right now. Come on, come on. Okay, there's a kill. I think it's actually. <gasps> Why is there a golden gun there? Did I pop it? Oh my god. Okay, I think from the start I was uh, actually just missing shots because it does actually do a bit of damage when I, I'm accurate enough. Not consistently though. It wouldn't be like I wouldn't be sitting here going, "Oh my god, what the hell? What did you get here? No, no, no!" <laughs> when did he pop that? I'm I'm deaf apparently. I can't hear anything. I wasn't getting much kills at the start though, and now I'm starting to actually hit the shots. See, there's what I'm saying though. That was literally pretty much like any of the other shots I hit. But then this time, apparently, I just can't do it. And this guy is there. Come on. But, buddy. But then I get a one shot there. I mean, of course, there is range and stuff. But I just don't understand it sometimes. This is the Nova Warp. <laughs> I've got killed by every single super they popped. Apart from a fist bowing. And that uh, it's just a terrible, terrible way to go. Don't worry, boys. We're going to waste our ammo on him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you kill me. I kill you, buddy. Don't take my special. Oh, my God. Now I have to actually use a primary. What is this? Destiny 2 and primaries? Nobody does that. Okay. 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 Yeah, that's what happens for using the primary. You just get punished. Guys, you don't use primaries. It's either heavy or special ammo. Why on earth would you ever switch to a primary? I could actually get a decent enough kill streak with this though as well. If the what the? What? What is, what is this? What? Like, I, 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 mm, I, I don't even know what to say. It's just... Like, what is this? What is this game anymore? Guy lagging and just running around the circles and just killing me. There's a guy here as well. Oh, he's run. He is run like an absolute woman. It's Rainmaker. Come on. I Don't worry. I'm, I'm coming to help. I'm coming to help. There we go. Don't worry. I'm coming to help your ass. Oh, we didn't get him. Okay, he's going to be up here. Oh, there's two of them. There's two of them, but we got the one kill. Oh, oh, take that. Take that. Yes, we're actually going in. Screw you. We have a supernova warp thingy majig. It does so much damage. Oh, that's an arrow. That is an arrow. And it's the squid, the sushi trash guy who lags all over the- Look at that crap! <laughs> uh, what do I do about this game, guys? Uh, I think it's time to deinstall. I think it's getting to that stage where you're like, I just deinstall, just forget about it. I thought they were starting to ban people for uh, having bad connections. He's just some special case. They don't do it for him. Everyone else? Yep, you get banned. You get banned. Everyone gets banned. Him? No, you can actually stay because, of course, he doesn't have to die, but you can die. Thank you. You can die. You can die. You can all just suck on my Nova Warp and keep on dying. Oh my god, did we get like eight kills? <laughs> oh yeah, we got a phantom. We got seven kills with that. Oh no! No, you stupid game! Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Why did it run out as soon as I was about to pop the thing? Gosh! Dang it! Oh, I got his I was too interested in my phantom. Okay, we're gonna come around here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, there's sushi. Oh my god. Get away from me. The this. Everyone's lagging. Is it me? I know, I know sometimes that when people are lagging and stuff, usually it's actually yourself. Oh my god. Okay, that guy's too far away. Oh, uh, that was actually very painful, that match. So, so painful. The gun actually wasn't even that bad. It was a bit inconsistent for my tastes. We got 33 kills though, so minus about 12 kills. So it was, or 13 kills, just make it easier. So it was about 20 kills with the thing. 3.0 efficiency, we still did pretty well. I'm just saying this gun is so inconsistent. Alrighty, time for the PvE side of the review, of course. It is Gambit, and we're going to be going in with Tempered Dynamo. It's going to be kind of 
hard to review it here. I mean, I mean, yellow bars are the main things, really. You want your special ammo for. Oh, but we actually have arc shields. Oh, that's beautiful. That that's beautiful. Oh, that that is just that that's legit. That is what you want to see. Arc shields with an arc weapon. Yes, please. Could have been anything. Could have been stupid solar shields, but nope, we got the arc ones. But I'm mainly gonna want to check what it is like against the yellow bars. I think that's really what you want to see what yellow or your special ammo can do. Because obviously it's gonna one tap the stupid little mobs and like minions or whatever you want to call them. So it's mainly just the yellow bars like this dude. Uh, come back here, bro. bro I'm, I'm gonna die coming up here, I bet you. Okay, we're gonna see what this is like. Come on, melt that guy. And now the thing about fusions is that there is obviously no precision damage on them. So let's talk about, oh my god, I'm, oh my god, snipers, 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 get down, get your ass down, boys, snipers in the bushes, my god, I got wrecked. But yeah, it doesn't do any uh, precision damage, so it's always gonna struggle with, in terms of, compared to like shotguns, because shotguns can do so much damage, and precision wise. Can I get one moat? I just want ten. I just want ten moats, boys. Give me one. One, please, give me, give me, give me, there we go, we got one. But yeah, it's kind of going to struggle against shotguns and stuff, I'm not going to lie, I mean, if I was going to choose, it's obviously in the Ikelos position as well. Yeah, which do you think I'm gonna pick if I have to choose between this and Ikelos? I think you already know. Um, is there a go Oh, there he is. Uh, he's over there. Come on, come on. We can shoot him. Shoot him together. Shoot him together. You've got 12 mouths, buddy. Buddy, 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 buddy. Come on, we're, we're fighting with you. We're fighting with you. There we go. Don't worry, Cronus. We saved your freaking ass. And they dropped a load of more over. Come on, go get rid of your stupid shield, you stupid thing. Oh my god, this is taking a lot of bullets. So even against these sorts of things, uh, uh, yeah, um, I mean, half health, not bad. I think even the creator all, the creator all has rampage and stuff, but I'm not feeling too hot with this weapon. I Oh, no, 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 no! I did not want to kill him, that's why I jumped down the edge. I was like, if we crash here, buddy, if we uh, chicken this, one of us is going off the edge, and it wasn't going to be me, but uh, yeah, I, just, I took the L. But yeah, the thing is, I'm not feeling uh, powerful with this thing. I mean, it's going to do well against... I missed the two keys. I've got the guy behind. It's going to do well against those sorts of things. But other than that, it's not really going to be much more than like a shield taker down. Like, I can do that, which is pretty nice. But like, it still doesn't like one-shot those things where a shotgun... Would just be more consistent, especially PvP. I don't know. I just uh, I'm not feeling this one. I mean, it's uh, it's kind of average and stuff. And there is the primeval though. But still, like I'm already out of bullets as well. But it's just I don't know. There's just something about it. I'm not feeling as if it's very strong. I mean, it's okay, but it's nothing to shout home about. I'm not gonna sit here and go, oh my god, go get this in the raid, especially for people who just don't really like raiding and stuff. I'm not gonna sit here and go be like, oh yeah, please go get the go get this. This thing is insane. It is really not. Yeah, screw it, using temper dynamo. I'll just use my trusty Thunderlord. And we're actually not doing that much damage. Oh buddy, guys, guys, guys. Oh, oh it is heavy here. Guys, can we get rid of some of these ads? They're tossing me out of my well and stuff. Come on, just melt the stupid. But there we go. Okay, round two with the weapon. I mean, uh, honestly, you probably already got my gist of this weapon. I wouldn't say it's too hot. I mean, it's a cool weapon. Curator roll might be pretty fun PvP-wise, just because it has rampage and uh, backup plans. Fusion rifles in general, apart from Telesto, which is exotic though. Fusion rifles in general are just super inconsistent for me. Just they're just well too inconsistent for me to actually say they're viable. Like sometimes you'd one tap some guardian across the map. This is PvP. You'd one tap them across the map, and then other times you just wouldn't do that, and it's just it's so annoying when you don't. And I think as well, they just never really hit the same sort of DPS as any other things because they just can't hit that precision shot. And that's what literally you need to be doing really in PvE. You need to be hitting those precision hits. Now, it's nice on stuff that doesn't have precision spots, but like what, are, what things don't have precision shots? The only really thing you can say that doesn't have one are freaking shanks. And they go down in about two seconds. So uh, yeah, that is the only thing really that doesn't have a precision shot. But like, even against the yellow bars, it's still not doing that much damage. Like, that's okay-ish damage, but it's still nothing to write home about. I can do the exact same sort of thing with, like, Kellos or a shotgun or some sort. If I had Telesto on, Telesto is, like, the only fusion rifle I've ever actually used and gone. Holy God, this thing is good. I just feel like they just need to get a bit stronger in terms of damage. That is a resilient captain. Okay, that's the good part. I can do that. I can two-tap that sort of thing. But as I said, shotguns do the same thing. The only good thing about it is they will keep you a bit more safe. Of course, you don't have to like walk right up into people's faces to use them. So that is a bit like a more security with them. Like, look, there's damage. We barely even did a turret. We barely even did that much. Oh my god. I think they need to have their own perk as well. If we could get a trench barrel on a fusion rifle, I think they might like survive then. 
they had some sort of thing that you can put onto it that makes it a bit better. But yeah, some sort of thing where you can actually like increase its damage and stuff. Of course, you got Rampage and stuff. But like, this is the thing. If I had a precision shotgun there, that thing would be dead so quickly. But of course, fusions have time to kill because of the draws or the charge up time. And then they're just inconsistent with that as well. I mean, it's just... Ah, oh, fusion rifles, man. I just don't get them. I don't get why they're kind of like weak. They probably should just because they kind of go range that they're kind of weak. I mean, that's probably what they're thinking. But I think in PvP and stuff, if they actually just gave it a bit more um, oomph and stuff, for it, especially because there's a charge time, you could do a lot better. Okay, come on, we're trying out this thing and let's see how much damage. Okay, we can actually, you know what, not too bad. It's just, it's literally just because time to kill. I need Mike that does things out quickly and stuff, but I can't do that. And that is round two over. Oh my God. Round three again, guys, we're doing it. Back to the old ways. Win the first round, lose the second, and have to do his third round. Round three, I'm probably gonna skip through like this whole like this part because honestly, you already know my thoughts on it. You can see as well, it's not super effective or anything like that. Create, you might say the curator role is gonna be unbelievable for PvP because of its uh, backup mag and stuff. Just in general, the weapon, I don't feel as if I am super strong using it or anything like that. I haven't, I just don't feel powerful using it. If you get a decent roll, it can be somewhat good, but if you get a bad roll, it's not like some like certain pulse rifles or anything where you can just get a terrible roll and still do well. I think fusion rifles are super reliant on their perk setup and stuff, but it's just not doing it for me. And I mean, oh, we're gonna vent, oh my God. Okay, trial by fire, spawn in and just have like everyone up your ass. Can someone go over and like plant moats? I'm gonna distract them for as long as I can, but we can't do much. There we go, there's one. Everyone and their mother though is using their Thunder Lord right now. Uh, I'm gonna actually wait till, oh no, I'm gonna wait till 12, 20 seconds because I might as well waste as much time as I can without them shooting at the thing. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Guys, I gave as much time as I could. There we have literally no time to get back over. We just need you to put all those moats in. Come on, come on. I've given up using the stupid damper dynamo. I'm going over to invade. It's more fun. That's the other thing. Fusion rifles themselves, they aren't even fun weapons to use. Like, they're kind of boring, if I say so myself. I'm not, I'm, I'm just really not a fan or anything. Oh, I shouldn't have thrown that. I should not have thrown that. Oh my God. Really shouldn't have thrown that. That was kind of stupid, but we survived. We're going to get this guy. Thank you. Guys, I'm gonna distract for as long as I can again, okay? There's 10 seconds. Ah, we did die in the end. You know what? We got three of the kills. They are full primeval. I distracted for as long as I can. They are all gonna melt right now, though. They are gonna burn him quick. Look at that burn. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm actually kind of glad that's over. We still got a load of hostiles defeated. 70 hostiles defeated. Yeah, 69 most deposited. There's just, I don't know. I just really did not enjoy using this in PvE. Well, that's it from me and the Tempered Dynamo. Honestly, it's not a bad weapon at all. I think it's okay-ish. Uh, you can already tell from that last PvE game, I was really, like, kind of disinterested in using it. I, I just find sometimes the fusion rifles, they kind of get a bit boring. Like, Telesto's a ton of fun because of all the sticky nades and stuff. But these, this fusion rifle kind of got a bit boring and stuff. I wasn't really enjoying using it. I did like a PvP though when it was consistent. When I was getting the one taps, it was nice, but it's very inconsistent in PvP as well. But I don't think you're ever going to see people really going, oh, I need to use this fusion rifle or anything like that, or I'm going to use this instead of a different weapon, because honestly, it's really just not that weapon. Which is a shame, because it is a raid weapon. Usually, most raid weapons have, like, the intrinsically good stuff. Get it if you're doing the raid, but if you don't do the raid much, you're not missing out in this weapon. But regardless, if you liked the video, show us a like, and if you want to see more content, subscribe. Have a fantastic day, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one.